Hello everyone, I'm super excited to announce my brand new course on Reality Kit. In the description, you can find all the links to the coupons and everything. So definitely get this course if you want to learn Reality Kit. Thank you so much. You're going to start by learning how to place virtual objects, including spear, box, and plane in the real world. Next, you're going to learn how to use gestures and how to apply gestures to virtual objects. These gestures include scaling, rotation, and even dragging the virtual object. After that, you will learn how to import a custom animatable model into the scene. You will also learn multiple ways of loading the model, including sync and async. You don't need flat screen TVs where we are going. In this section, you will learn about video material, unlit material, and also occlusion materials. Next, you will learn about how to add physics to your AR applications. You will learn the differences between dynamic, kinematic, and static bodies, and also the collision detection and how to get collision notifications. After that, you will build a complete app to measure distance between two points. You will also learn how to integrate AR world with a Swift UI world. Next, you will learn about image recognition and how you can use image recognition to show a virtual object in the real world. Light plays a very important role in augmented reality applications. You will learn how to use spotlight, directional light, and even point light in your applications. Reality Composer is an essential tool for building AR scenes. You will learn how to integrate Reality Composer with your Xcode to build amazing AR applications. Next, you will build a complete furniture application which allows the user to pick furniture from a Swift UI view and then displays it in a Reality Kit application. Next, you're going to learn about persistence in AR apps. Persistence will allow you to save your AR world so you can load it later and resume it. Persistent will also save your virtual object so it can be restored. After that, you will learn about location anchors and how you can place a virtual object based on the latitude and longitude of the real world object. Hey, did somebody order donuts? You will learn about face anchors and also how to create face anchors using Reality Composer. Next, you will learn how to create object anchors by scanning and detecting your own physical objects. I had so much fun in creating this course. If you're ready, let's go ahead and get started.